Hi guys, Armored Pants here and I have another video for you. This time we are looking at uh, matchmaking and in particular how matchmaking is currently rigged and how it could be rigged in the future. Now matchmaking is perhaps one of the most controversial, most discussed and most divisive topics within Blitz and um, many people have long suspected that matchmaking doesn't work properly, it's rigged, etc. And what we do know is that matchmaking used to just be about um, the type of tanks so it's quite random. Um, but Wargaming have been consistently messing around with the algorithms, trying to make it better, etc. Um, but also um, to try to, let's see, maybe control it a bit more, right? Now, today we're going to look at proof, definitive statistical proof that matchmaking can and is rigged. Now, we're going to look at, um, I should probably preface this by saying that we are looking at two different day game types here. We're looking at the, let's say, special game modes, like, and in particular here, Mad Games. And then we're going to discuss um, the regular battle modes um, where matchmaking currently is not is not rigged, or at least it doesn't seem to be. But uh, we want to uh, have a look at this because we have a couple of hypotheses about that we want to prove and we need your help in doing it. So we're going to ask for some help in this call to action. But firstly, let's look at the um, at the statistics in Mad Games to show that in Mad Games um, matchmaking is rigged. Now, when I say we, by the way, I'm talking about myself and a very, very cool Finnish guy, but aren't they all, called Yilpa. Now, um, I did a video before Christmas um, where I suspected that, um, you know, matchmaking was working properly in that war game, you know, or perhaps trying to get everybody into a kind of range of, let's say, 48 to 54 percent of win rates. So to remove a lot of the toxicity, etc. from the game. And um, now I had some anecdotal evidence, but I didn't have any proof of that. But then uh, Major Easy, who's on my Discord channel, said to me, you should reach out to Yilpa because Yilpa has developed um, in its part time, by the way, just to, just to help the community um, blitz analysis tools. He has a degree, he has a degree and a background in mathematics and statistics. So he was able to do this in his spare time. And he also published an article on the forum. I'm going to put a link into the description for that article. You should read it. It's going to cover it in a lot more detail. Some of the stuff, from this, some of the stuff we'll discuss in this video. Now, um, what Yelp is able to do is, is by using statistical analysis, t-tests, et cetera, is able to uh, test hypothesis using a thing called p-value, which is probability value, right? You don't have to worry about all of that. I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what we're looking at here when we look at the results. But firstly, big shout out to Yelp, a big thank you. Um, if you can go and support him, check out the forum, et cetera, and his page. All of it will be links in the description. Now. Let's have a look at this statistical analysis here, right? This is from a series of games in Mad Games, right? It's 512 battles. So this is what we call in statistics a, a random a random sample and a normally distributed sample. And it is a significant sample. So therefore it is good for analysis, right? It's not too small um, and it has normal distribution. So it's okay for that respect. What we're looking at here is the player's career stats. So we see that he has overall 55.19 almost 60, sorry, it's a 65.19% win rate. So this is a very, very good player, right? Now, in the 512 battles that we've analyzed of his games and mad games, his overall win rate is 47.6. That's a huge difference, right? So it's almost 20% drop in his win rate versus his career statistics. So the question is why? Well, the answer is this. If you look here at the average win rate of the players on his team versus the average win rate of the players on the red team, you see that there is a 2.6% difference. You're probably thinking to yourself, ah, oh, 2.6% difference, that's not that big, is it? Well, it is because that 2.6% difference is across all seven players. That means that because it's an average, that each player has approximately a 2.6% difference between them. So that means in terms of the overall seven players, it's not 2.6% overall difference. Those seven players, it's an 18.2% difference. That's the difference between a 40% player playing a 58% player in a tournament. You know, nine times out of 10, 58% player is going to win because there's a reason he's a 58% player. And there's a reason that the 40% player is a 40% player. So what does this show us? It shows us that this player, because he has good statistics in his career win rate, has been put in with players who are significantly worse than the red team they're playing against. So that's basically rigged to favor um, the lesser players and to bias the player with the better statistics. Now, we ran, so he showed me this analysis and I was like, wow. So we ran, while we were talking together on the phone, 
we ran another analysis, right? This time we're looking at 306 game samples, so still pretty big game sample. And what we're looking at here is a player who has an almost 68% win rate, so 67.7% win rate. So it's a really, really good player. It's a super unicorn player, right? Now, in the 306 games that he played in Mad Games, you can see here his win rate is 43.8%. It's less than 44%. So this guy's win rate is almost 24% less than it is in normal gameplay. That's massive, right? And again, if you look at the reasons for it, the reasons are obvious. His team's average uh, win rate is 50.29%. The opposition team during that 306 game period that he played, win rate is 53.03%. That's a 2.74%, almost 3% difference. But again, that's on average. So if you take the total discrepancy across the team and multiply that by seven, it's almost 20%. It's 19.18% difference. So that's basically like 35% player against a 55% player or 40% player against a 60% player. Who's going to win? 99 times out of time, it's a 60% player. So it's completely rigged against them, right? So this is, and by the way, guys, this is not opinion, right? This is not me saying I think matchmaking is rigged. This is statistical analysis that shows that it is. Now, again, I want to caveat that by saying this is only in the special modes. This is only in mad games, right? Where the samples are taken from. The statistical analysis that we ran on normal games shows that actually there wasn't any significant difference. There wasn't any difference in terms of the win rates. But a couple of things. Why is Wargaming running this um, win rate bias and, uh, uh, um, algorithm in mad games and other modes? Well, they're obviously testing it, right? Which uh, tells us two things. Firstly, they now have the capability to rig matchmaking based on win rate. Secondly, that they've been testing it and now they know it works. And therefore the question is why? But what we do know is now they have the capability at any point in time they could unleash this into the main regular battle environment, right? It's a scary concept to know that they have the capability, can and have done this, right? And this is the statistical proof that we've just seen. Um, secondly, um, and this is a point that Yilpa made excellently in his um, forum post, is that they recently changed the name of random battle to regular battle. Now that may seem, you know, only mere semantics, but it's not. Because random battle suggests that you're going into the battles randomly. Regular battle just means it's just a, the normal type of battle, but it doesn't mean it's no, it's, it has to be random anymore. And this change in nomenclature could be very significant. It could be wargaming covering their ass for the future where you're going into battles not on a random basis. So this is significantly worrying for those uh, players who have spent a long time building up their win rate or for those players who are trying to get to a better win rate, right? You're no longer going to be rewarded for being a better player or for taking the time to, to play that game. And if you, if you remember the video we recently did about Josh Kalpa Mabug, who went from a 50 to a 68% uh, win rate and overall career stats would have been 62%. If he had this algorithm working against him, he wouldn't be able to do that, right? Simple. Now, call to arms, or we need your help. So I spoke with Yilpa, and we want to test a couple of things. We want to continually monitor the random battles to see if the Wargaming has introduced this biased uh, win, ra uh, win rate uh, matchmaking algorithm. To do that, we need to analyze games, and we need, we need a normal sample of games. Secondly, the other thing we want to um, test is if and this is independent of win rate, but if you, uh, sorry, it's not, the, the win rate won't be the result that we're looking for. But if you have a higher win rate that you are, um, your bottom tier more. Now I've tested this anecdotally. So just for example, today, I wanted to test it before I started this video. So I played 10 games at tier five with different tanks, T25 to T14 and the Panzer 54. And out of the, every single one of those 10 games, I was bottom tier. Now, if it's random, that shouldn't happen. If it's random, it should be maybe 50% of the time, or you could get unlucky and get 60% of the time, but to have 10 out of 10 games, and the account I was running, by the way, has about 62% win rate on it. I think it's uh, an account uh, that doesn't, and it doesn't have so many games played in it either because it's an account that we shared in the Seven Ghost Division clan for testing tanks, etc. So, um, 
So away, I've only played maybe, let's say, 20% uh, of the games in it. But it has good stats, so 62% win rate in that account. And every single game, uh, we were bottom tier. Incredible. So we want to test if you the hypothesis to see, firstly, if this algorithm has ever been introduced to the, to, the, to the regular matches. And secondly, we want to test the hypothesis that if you have over a 60% win rate that you are getting disproportionately uh, up tiered. But to do that, we need games. Because the problem with uh, WOT and Spectre is that most people who upload games don't upload a normal stream of games, they upload mastery games, etc. So they're not what we call a normal distributed sample. So therefore, we'd like to ask you guys to upload just normal games. So if you play 20 games in a row, normal games, just please upload them and then we can analyze them. Um, let us know in the comment section or in Discord if you're uploading your games and then we uh, Yilpa can analyze them and we can test a hypothesis and we will then of course do follow-up videos and give you guys the information because we want to keep you guys informed. So guys, this is not perhaps the best news ever, I think, because definitive proof that matchmaking is being rigged in mad games and other special modes and can be rigged in regular modes is very disturbing. Um, and I would have to say quite worrying. Um, but we would ask for your help that we can continue to monitor the situation and make sure that at least in regular games where your win rate um, is actually affected, because bear in mind in mad games, your win rate is not affected, right? Which is why if you wanted to test it, it's the perfect place for Wargaming to test it, right? Um, so right now, the algorithm is not being used to affect your win rate, but the capability is there, right? It's like nuclear weapons, right? Um, you know, during the Cold War, they weren't used, but the threat was always there and obviously people had to worry about it, right? So guys, I'd ask you please to, um, well, first you don't panic, but secondly, please help us, right? So upload your, and I'm showing you here how you can upload your games to WOT Inspector. Please do that. Please let us know in the comment section or contact us uh, by Discord and we'll do the analysis. We do a follow-up video and we get back to you. So guys, I hope you found this useful. You probably didn't find it too enjoyable, I have to say. You probably went to scare the pants off, even if you have armored pants. Uh, but I hope you found it um, very informative and I hope you found it useful. And um, now I guess all remains for me to say is cheers, Mush. And as always, pants off.